G'day everybody, my name's Luke Fitzpatrick and thank you for supporting Fish That Snag. Well, I'm not going to be out on the water very much this weekend as the wind is uh, really picking up horrendous. But I've had a lot of questions lately, especially through Facebook, about the types of retrieve that I use with my uh, soft plastics. So today I'm very quickly going to just take you through a fast retrieve, or some call it, some people call it burning. Um, especially handy over the top of uh, really shallow rocks and things like that. Um, and especially when you know there's some speedsters around like queenfish and things. So I'll throw a few around, uh, quick retrieve, see if we have any luck, and then we'll head in before this wind starts bashing. Okay, so first things first, you need to understand the lay of the land. By that I mean the land under the water of what you're going to be fishing. So I use marine charts, my sounder, topographical maps, pretty much any piece of information I can get to study an area before I go to it so that then I can use that information to break the code on how best to catch fish in that particular area. So what I noticed with this particular island was there was lines of rock running through the island and using my sounder and the marine charts I noticed that those lines of rock continued under the water pretty much as shown with the red lines. What did this mean? Well, the depth varied also. So from the top right down to the bottom left, you essentially have a series of steps under the water where it gradually gets deeper. What does this mean? Well, for me, I look for one of the larger steps, which is roughly about here in this particular situation. And I know that this area here is the top of the step which means in this area here, I'm pretty restricted. I've got depth of about one and a half to two meters and it's all rock, a real challenge to fish in. But I know there'll be fish in there. I also know that this area here, it drops away quite significantly to about three to four meters. So this is a great area for predatory fish to move along and chase bait fish. So in my mind, what am, I, what am I seeing and what am I helped by seeing with my sounder? Well, I know there's a fairly significant ledge along here where there's a good drop off of about one to two meters. How I'd usually fish this, position my boat here or here, and then I'd be looking to cast along the ledge. Soft plastics or hard bodies, whatever I wanted to use, I'd be casting along here. And if I was using a soft plastic, I'd more than likely hop my lure along the edge as long as close as I could possibly get it without getting stuck on the rocks. Any predatory fish or anything moving along there? Bang. However, what I noticed is there was bait fish breaking up right up here in the shallows. How am I going to get to them? I could cast up here and try and use a slow hop or something like that to bring my lure back to the boat but pretty much 99% chance I'm going to get hooked up on rocks and lose my lure. So that's where I need to start thinking about the species that I'm chasing. Here's my queenfish. I know they're moving along this ledge as well, patrolling along it. And what they're looking to do is when they see bait fish or something that they want to eat, as a school, they push them up into the shallows and then basically less water, less places to hide, they smash them up in the shallows, grab what they can to feed and then they move off back off to the ledge and get ready to move in again. So I want to cast my lure right up there where the bait fish is and I want to bring it back, pretty much pretending to be a fleeing bait fish and then I want to get a bite somewhere around here. How am I going to do it? Well I'm going to use a fast retrieve. I'm pretty much going to cast my lure right up into the shallows using about a quarter ounce jig head with my soft plastic on it and it's going to hit the water and I'm not even going to give it much time to sink. Maybe a second or two and then I'm going to start cranking it back at a fairly reasonable pace back towards the boat. Does a couple of things. Keeps the lure up off the top of the rock so I'm not going to get snagged also does a great job of imitating one of those bait fish that's just been herded up into the shallows, breaking away from the group and trying to get away. Hopefully then any of the queen fish that have come back off the ledge see that, think easy target and they smash it.
folks I'm all done hopefully this offers uh, some of you a slightly different retrieve that you might not have tried before don't be surprised if you get cod coral trout all those sort of species that sort of sit in amongst those rocks waiting for bait fish to come over the top also have a crack at your lure uh, you would have noticed that I had my drag set quite lightly and that queen fish turned and went straight to the rock so I was lucky to get him out coral trout and cod will just brick you straight away so maybe do the drag up just a touch more anyway i hope you found this video useful please if you enjoyed it hit the like button subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you all out on the water mm -hmm.